Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be testing out the iCarsoft CR Max. Uh, and is it any good on a Land Rover vehicle? We've got this tool plugged into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. Um, now, before we uh, we go any further, I want to tell you that if you are interested in this tool, it is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'll pop the links to the kit in the description below this video because there are fakes, there are clones out there. They can damage your vehicle, unfortunately, and it's not worth going down that route, okay? Uh, so links in the description if you are interested in picking up this tool. I'll just try and get this a bit closer here. So. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the screens for you uh, and by the end of the video you might have a better idea as to whether this tool is going to be suitable for you, your vehicle and your specific needs in your vehicle, uh, what have you. So we're in a Land Rover Discovery 3 right now which is, to be honest with you, riddled with faults so it's a perfect vehicle for me to show you this tool uh, working on it. Now uh, we've got a check engine light right there and various other faults this is a this dashboard that we've got in here it's an it has an intermittent fault so it sometimes keeps sort of going on and off so don't be surprised if everything just completely dies during this uh, this video uh, hopefully we'll get through it without that happening though okay so we're gonna click on to diagnostics and this is just a I'll give you a quick look at all of the manufacturers that the tool covers so if you've got a Land Rover and if you've got other makes and models as well then it's perfect for your needs because the, you've just got one kit to do absolutely everything, okay? Um, but for this video, we're just focusing on Land Rover. So we'll find the Land Rover option. It's doing a quick connection to the vehicle. Uh, obviously, this cable here, one end runs into the top of the tool. The other end of this cable goes down under there into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. So there's two ways you can get into your specific vehicle. You can either select your vehicle or you can ask the tool to do it for you, find the vehicle. I'll show you both of them, but for now we're just going to go into Vehicle Select, and this is giving, going to give you an idea of the, t the the vehicles that are covered. So I'll scroll through these just while they're here. So we've got Defender, those ones. Just pause the video if you do need to, uh, because it can there can be quite a lot of options on each screen. But basically, it's going to cover for most vehicles like up to 2021-ish, so 2022 as well. All really depends on when you're watching this video because right now I'm making this video in December 2022, but obviously new updates will come out all of the time. So if you're watching this video, say in 2024, the chances are this tool will probably do 2022, 2023 vehicles as well and some 2024. Uh, but we are in a discovery this is a Discovery 3, so we'll just click on that option. The diesel V6, and we'll just click OK to that. And what we'll do is we'll show you this tool, basically just diagnosing. This is this is the main screen that you come into for your specific vehicle. So you can you got a few options here. You can do a quick test, which quickly scans the vehicle, uh, an automatic scan, which scans for which systems are in that vehicle, a control unit, which is what we're going to do. Uh, you can manually choose the system in which you wish to diagnose and service, well we'll come to that in a moment, but that is just basically like your service functions and your special functions for this vehicle. So click on control unit and then we're now presented with a list of systems, so it's basically just a case of selecting which system that you wish to diagnose and then finding the fault code relating to that. So we want to, we've got a check engine light so we want to check the engine system so we'll just click the engine control module and we'll click into read fault code um, is there no all right so these are the two faults that we've been getting um, p010036 p011317 and with a bit of information and a bit of a description for each fault now if you're not entirely sure what each of these warning light uh, so you codes and descriptions means then my best advice would be to just pop this information to a google search engine and if you're having this fault you can guarantee that somebody else at some point has had this fault as well okay um but we we've, we've know we know these faults and we know that this vehicle has had a faulty mass airflow sensor so we put a new one in we're still getting the check engine and the codes though so what we need to do now is click on clear fault memory and when i click on clear fault memory just keep an eye on this check engine light here there we go, erase operation done, check engine light has gone off straight away there, okay. So, and then you've got lots of other systems as well you can do, while I'm here I'll show you some like live data from the engine system. So you can look at view data, 
and if you wanted to look at live data from say like the mass airflow sensors or your battery voltages uh, the boost temperatures coolant temperatures it'll also do transmission temperatures as well but you need to go into the live data for the transmission system uh, and there's lots of different types of live data values temperatures percentages and things like that okay and obviously depending on which vehicle you're in will depend on the, the level of live data you get because obviously newer vehicles they have a lot more systems installed in them so there's a lot more data to view if that makes sense okay and then if we just like I said the transmission I'll just show you the transmission one um, I'll have a quick read there's no fault code in that which is good go to the view data and then again scroll down and somewhere along, along here should give you the transmission data uh, transmission temperature along with lots of other live data just in case you're changing the fluid on your transmission Tem transmission oil temperature there we go it's currently set at 31 degrees well it's currently 31 degrees it's set at that okay so that is just a quick overview of like the systems and obviously the the systems here the list of systems that you get will all really depend on so I've clicked that by accident will all really depend on the vehicle that you're in so if you're in a newer vehicle you're going to get a quite a large list of systems here but you can generally assume that it will cover all systems within that particular vehicle whatever vehicle you're in okay um, actually there's one thing I was going to go into I wanted to have a look in the ride level control module just to see if there was any faults in that it is giving us a fault a U invalid data received from vehicle dynamics control module that needs looking into U code okay uh, you can view live data from these as well there we go but you know we'll you can go into that if you uh, if you really need to okay so we'll come out of this and then we're going to go into go back to the home menu and I'll show you the service menu as well okay so if we go to the service menu and these are the types of service things that the tool can do for you um, so it's got all of your main things like your oil service resets electronic park and brake steering angle sensor DPF regeneration battery registration injector coding air suspension you know there's a lot of things that this tool can actually do it doesn't necessarily mean that all of these functions are going to be suitable for your vehicle um, it really all depends on what vehicle that you're in um, but you, you can generally be assured that let's say for example if your vehicle has a DPF fitted the tool will probably be able to do a DPF regeneration for you it'll open and close the calipers for your parking brakes it'll do your oil service resets ABS brake bleeding battery registration and a few other things as well okay um, but we find this tool is a really good all-round package it's a really easy to update you get free lifetime updates just with the one touch thing providing you are connected to the internet um, and it obviously it doubles up as a tablet as well because uh, if we, how do you get out of this you go to home is it or just that home there so you can you can be searching the internet or playing on games of a night time but you can be diagnosing vehicles and using it to set up vehicles through the daytime okay uh, but it's a it's a fantastic kit like I say I just wanted to make a real short video of this tool working on a Land Rover just to give you an idea of what you can expect if you were considering it for your Land Rover or your Jaguar in fact as well but obviously we're, we're in a Land Rover right now or any other vehicle like I say just show you again the list of manufacturers that it covers it's got a huge database of vehicles and it's really good if you want to make sure you're you know, maintaining or looking after the vehicles in your particular uh, family, your setup. Maybe you've got a fleet of vehicles to work on. Or even if you've got like a small garage or a workshop and you're not necessarily sure which vehicle you'll be, you'll be coming into your workshop from day to day. Okay, uh, but I'll leave that information with you. Like I say, I'm going to pop the link in the description below this video because fakes and clones do exist. Make sure you use that link because that's going to take you to the genuine and official product. Okay, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you in the next video.